Welcome or welcome back to this week's Human Design Transit Report. Today is Monday, uh, March 6th, and the new transit starts in just a couple of days on March 8th, and that's what we're going to focus on today. You can go and watch last week's transit report if you want to know what's happening today and tomorrow, and then we're going to switch on Wednesday. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So Wednesday, March 8th, is International Women's Day. This is celebrated all around the world. And it's funny because it's not that big in the United States. I know when I was in graduate school, that's when I learned about International Women's Day from some friends of mine who are Latin American. And, you know, I grew up in a feminist household and I didn't know about International Women's Day. So it's good for us who are in the U.S. Uh, to find out what's going on with people around the world, get to know what's happening with the status of women and girls. I talk to people a lot who say that they want to be able to uh, help uh, girls in particular. And supporting uh, educational endeavors is a great way that you can and to support them in the ways that are important to them to be able to evolve as we're all evolving um, in their own uh, countries and their own cultures. The UN always has different uh, activities that are for International Women's Day. I'll put a link down below where you can go and check that out for yourself. So for the upcoming transit, we have the sensing circuit and the knowing circuit highlighted. And we have no logic circuit at all in the chart anywhere, <laughs> which is very interesting because we had the beginning of the logic circuit uh, highlighted in the transits that's just completing today and tomorrow. So the sun is going to move into the gate 22, which is a knowing circuit, and it is on the emotional solar plexus. And the earth is going to move into the gate 47, which is the beginning of the sensing circuit. So it is also right brain energy. During the transit we have right now, uh, we've got the 64 that's highlighted, and then the, it, it will move into the 47. So we still have that very beginning of that right brain energy highlighted for us during this particular transit. So let's dive into that sensing circuit, uh, right brain energy. So the earth lighting up the 47, the 47 in traditional human design is known as realization and in quantum human design as mindset. So if we just stop for a second and think about, so we have had that 63, 64 lit up, right? Which is confusion in traditional human design or divine transference. It is this place where we get spiritual information that comes in through, uh, from super consciousness in through the beginning of that channel. And because it's right brained, it's going to be abstract, experiential, embodied, creative, um, abstract, and, you know, really expansive without a lot of boundaries. And then it's coming into mindset. So for me, as it comes in, the the, 40, the 47 is on the Ajna and Karen Curry Parker, the creator of quantum human design, has renamed the Ajna as the divine translator. Okay, the di divine translation center. And the way that I understand this is that we've got this information <clears throat> coming in through the head, right? Comes into the Ajna. And by and large, this is not particularly verbal and not particularly uh, word oriented, right? A lot of times it's a little more um, imagistic or impressionistic. Uh, and it's when it comes into the Ajna center, uh, which is not like the Ajna chakra. Okay, let me just say. It, it gets translated into words. It gets translated more into um, verbal communication. Okay, so that's what's happening here is, is that all of the spiritual information <clears throat> that we have been receiving during the, the transit that's happening right now and that started last week is now uh, on Wednesday, it's going to start being translated into words so that we can actually communicate with, about it through verbally. Okay, uh, and so this is a great time for you to be looking at the creativity that may have gotten stimulated for you during the transit that we're in right now. And uh, that I talked about in the the last week's report where I was saying, you know, this is a really great time to like, you know, write a poem, uh, write a novel, uh, write a song, uh, create a dance, um, <clears throat> build a beautiful garden, 
it's just starting to be that time here in Northern California. <laughs> um, or to even do it inside, right? To work with plants on the inside, like just do things that are creative, that help you to connect really to the totality of the universe, because that right brain energy is tapped in to the creative, that creative intelligence. And so you can be a channel for that during this time. And when we're moving into this new transit, and we're going to ground ourselves and our ability to translate what we're kind of receiving uh, in terms of spiritual information into something that might be more verbal. And what do you want to focus on here is really having an open mind, a mind that is in a possibility and potentials mindset. You don't want to have a mindset that is closed off, that is deterministic, that it sees the world as only a material reality, that is uh, really limited in terms of what's possible. I want to be receiving the spiritual information and I want to bring it into a mindset that is open to the possibilities that it's bringing to me. And then I want to think about how I can translate that into something I can understand in ordinary reality. And so that's kind of the process as things, spiritual information comes in and comes in through the head and the ajna, and then we start bringing it down into the body. So you want to ground yourself in that. Then the sun is going to move in the gate 22, which is on the emotional solar plexus. So it's emotional energy. And in traditional human design, it's known as openness. And in quantum human design, it's known as surrender. So it's in the knowing circuit. So it's highly intuitive. Again, this is a place where spiritual information is running through the chart. And so, but, and it's also emotional. So we know that that is going to need some time. We don't want to act immediately or rashly about things that are related to the emotional solar plexus. And this is really a beautiful energy of being able to say, I am surrendered to what it is that the creative intelligence of the universe is bringing to me and guiding me into. It's made on the other side of the emotional solar plexus is the gate 55, which is the gate of faith. And it has to do particularly with fate around abundance in the sense that I will always have what I need when I need to have it. And Saturn is lighting up that gate 55 right now. So we do have it lit up in the chart. And so these two energies are interacting with each other. And so the 55 is like, you know, I yeah, I, I'm going to have what I need when I need to have it. And if you're in a state of fear, um, a scarcity, which is the so real scarcity and fear is the disempowered aspect of the 55. And uh, the the kind of, you know, I never have enough. And I, because I don't have enough, I'm going to try to take from other people. That's more of the shadow aspect that can can be expressed through the 55. But when you're in this place where you recognize that you are not alone, and that you are part of the creative intelligence of the universe, and that that universe has your back, and it's here to support you, and as you do that, you can really surrender to what's going to be coming to you. You can be surrendered to being guided by the information that's going to come through that knowing circuit then that energy is going to be resting on that energy of the 47, right, with that mindset or possibility thinking. And so the surrender comes because we're able to be like, I don't really know exactly what's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to unfold. I'm choosing to calibrate my emotional energy to have a frequency of my emotional tone that is in a possibility mindset a sense of, ooh, like I am getting something from that creative intelligence. It's coming in. I'm feeling creative. I'm feeling inspired. I want to engage with it. And I am going to allow that to really guide me as I move forward. Knowing that part of the lesson right now is to have the higher expression of that 55 because Saturn is our life lessons, right? It's one part of our life's lesson, right? And so Saturn is like, okay, are you going to be in scarcity or are you going to be in faith? And it's very, very difficult to surrender if you don't have faith. I mean, why would you, right? If you didn't have faith, if you thought everything was up to you, you would never surrender. You would be like, no, I have to control everything. I have to be in charge of everything. Everything's up to me.
which is the way a lot of us were conditioned. I certainly was conditioned to live that way um, and to believe that that was my role. And so it's as I built my faith and I started to actually co-create with that creative intelligence, which is pillar number one of feminine sovereignty, co-creating with the uh, flow of life and purposely creating with it, right? When we start doing that, it's much easier to surrender particularly like the ego self, right? The little self, the self that, you know, Ra would call it the not self, right? The part that feels like it has to be in control and that there really isn't any support available. So we, we want to surrender that part that comes out of separation, right? Believing that we're separate and leaning into the sense of oneness that's a sensing circuit can give us because the sensing circuit is all about oneness. And so when we can lean into that, then it's much easier for us to surrender. And just one final note, this is the last transit that we have where we have the money line lit up, the 2145. So if you haven't had a chance to put any attention in that area, which is about gathering and distributing resources and doing it at the highest possible level so that it is in alignment with what's best for the tribe, which would be not just yourself, but your family, your community. Uh, and and really taking a look at that because this has been been lit up for you know a number of transits now and it's a great time for you to be looking at how are you distributing your resources are you you know providing financial support to different things that are meaningful to you that could be you know your kids or people close to you but it could also be uh, projects that are happening in your community that you want to contribute to you or you want to be a part part of. Uh, and, and it can also be something larger than that if you want to. Different kinds of causes that you're a part of and that you want to be able to con contribute to. This is a really good time uh, for that. And also if you're somebody who is engaged in something and you w need resources to do it, this is also a good time to be gathering the resources that you need to be able to do your good work in the world. So take advantage. This is the last transit where we're going to have that lit up. Uh, that in that particular way. And if you haven't had a chance to join us in Becoming Sovereign, uh, the virtual retreat center that I created at the end of last year, I want to in invite you to come and join us. Uh, uh, this month, we're going to have uh, at least two additional curated courses that are going to be released inside of the community. Those are free to you. And um, I invite you to come and play and connect and uh, let us know what your interest in human design is and share with us both your questions and your expertise and we will all learn together so i hope i will see you in the community soon all right many blessings much love mm -hmm.